here at the Shaw Conference Center in Edmonton, Alberta, as Mike Buchanan out of Vancouver, B.C. will be taking on Steve Franich out of Toronto. Looking forward to this one. Franich undefeated as a professional. Ladies and gentlemen, this belt is scheduled for six rounds in the light heavyweight division. The man in charge when the bell rings is your referee, Mr. Don Smart. Introducing first to my right in the blue corner, he wears a black trunks with white and red trim. He weighed in at 175 pounds. He comes in with a professional boxing record of one victory, zero losses, and one draw. From Vancouver, British Columbia, Mike the Machine Buchanan. <laughs> and introducing his opponent to my left in the red corner. He is wearing the black trunks. He weighed at 173 and one half pounds. He comes in with a perfect professional boxing record of five victories and zero losses. From Toronto, Ontario, silent Steve Franchek. Hey okay, boys, since you guys said the dress room on a good clean fight, when I say break, step back, you break cleanly. Remember to protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Good luck. In 13 months, uh, Steve Frantich has really made a, an impact in professional boxing, Ken. Uh, you know what? Uh, he uh, lost a spot on Canada's national team in 2010, and then he decided to turn pro, and boy, uh, he's really made an impact, and, and this kid can fight. Yeah, and he uses his reach. He's always, he likes to keep the jab out, and he knows his way around the ring real well. Like I said, I seen him fight in Toronto. I really liked the fight in Toronto. He he did a lot of things that guys in 15 fights don't do. You can see he's taking his time. Mike Buchanan, not uh, only two professional fights, right? Uh, so Buchanan, at the age of 44, I'm sure he doesn't want to get into a quick tussle don't hold and hit. Push with Franich. But one thing is for certain, eventually these two are going to come together. And you can just see right there just the skill and the punching power of Franich. He's very... Uh, perfectly timed in the way that he throws those, those big punches. Yeah, he does. He keeps his, his balance is very, very good. Always leaning forward. Looks, looks a little bit like a downhill skier. Always with a little bit of his body leaning forward, just a little bit, okay, light in his Stay feet. Back. Back. Uh, but also, I've noticed some nice things about uh, about Buchanan. Buchanan uh, floats away nicely. He's a little bit uh, rough on the inside. He's trying to get a little rough inside, so now Franchick also is starting to throw some punches inside. Well, you got to give it to Buchanan. He's coming in incredible shape. Looks fantastic. Obviously, Tony Pep has focused a lot on uh, the road work and the weight training. Now he just has to make sure he does the right things against uh, an undefeated opponent. And he wants to go to 6-0. and Well, we know Tony Pep. He's been in the ring lots before, and Tony wouldn't just bring uh, a Buchanan here. As there's nothing. We know Tony has a lot of respect, and we're probably going to see some good things from Buchanan before this one's over. He looks like he's nice and relaxed. He, he holds his hands really nice, uses his body, his legs real well to, to get away from punches. And uh, we'll have to see how this thing un un unfolds. Let go. Stop. Stop. <coughs> what I like so far about Buchanan is he's nice and relaxed. But Franchi is always on you with that long jab. He's six foot three and he, he keeps that jab in your face. But it's helping out with Buchanan being relaxed and, and also trying to keep his jab going and fading away with the punches. Well, you got to remember that Steve Franzik has only boxed 11 pro rounds. So that tells you he doesn't take too long, maybe two rounds or less to get rid of his opponents. So uh, Mike Buchanan has to be very careful as to how tight he gets in with Steve Franzik. Well, what we can see so far is we see that Buchanan is not, didn't come here to lay down, that's for sure. Like I said, he's moving away from punches nicely. Uh, but what, what Franzik's got to do is he's got to stay on the dime. He's got to use his reach, and he's got to keep jabbing. Uh, Buchanan, but Buchanan's doing what he should do against a taller opponent. He just got to get a little bit busier there. Buchanan's got to start punching back, and when you get in these punches, like right there, body head, body head. That's a nice uppercut. Come back with that hook, though. Right there, he should be coming back with the left. Right there it is. Should be coming back with the left hook. Good, good first round for these two light heavyweights. His footwork is very, very good. But he's going to have to start this round, get a little busier with that jab. 
because he's going to give the other guy, Buchanan's already, you can see he's going to get a little bit more confidence. The longer you let Buchanan dictate to the pace, folding away and letting you throw punches, the, the more confidence Buchanan's going to get. Well, like we said before, there's no question that uh, Steve Brandig, he likes to get rid of his opponents quite quickly, and he likes to do it in style, and he's done so so far in his professional career where, like I say, this guy's been knocking up, knocking out everybody with four professional KOs, and he definitely wants to put on a show here with his new company, KO Boxing, backing him in front of a sold-out crowd here at the Shaw Conference Center. Well, one thing we can see already, he's going to have a tough time getting rid of Buchanan tonight. Because what Buchanan's doing is he's got nice defense, and he's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a bite to his punch too. So Franchik's going to be all out tonight to get rid of him. But Buchanan has to keep doing. He's going to fade away there, but he's got to come back with a right hand, left hook. He can't just fade away and make uh, Franchik miss the punch. He has to come back with something. That's what we're going to have to start looking for in this round, in the third and fourth round. But Franchik shouldn't stay so close to him. He should get that jab out there more. Get the jab, start dictating the pace. Then you start, there it is. Then you start picking off them, them right hands. You could see earlier in the round two, Frantic came out with a good flurry, tried to take Buchanan down, but Buchanan weathered the storm. And nice body punch right there. A superb left hook to the to the ribs of Buchanan. He's got to feel those, Kenny. Oh, he does. And that's exactly what Frantic is trying to do, like a workman-like job on him, because he knows this guy's not just going to fall down. Buchanan didn't come here to fall down. He's really, and he's got a bit of a punch to him too, so, so Franchik has to be careful. But Franchik shouldn't be pushing the fight quite as hard as he is. He should just keep it under control with a nice jab. Look at the reach he's got. And pick pick them right hands to the head and come back with left hooks to the body. You don't have to fight him like you're his same height. Fight him like Larry Holmes would fight in the porn. Touching him with the jab, touching him with the jab. Look for the openings. Couple of good left hooks again by Tragic, and you got to remember that uh, Silent Steve has done a very good job of disposing of his opponents quickly. And I, I guess it's one of those things when you start meeting somebody who's a little unorthodox in the ring, it, it makes it a lot tougher for you to get that knockout because you're you think that you can do what you want to do, but sometimes boxer, boxers like uh, Mike Buchanan can make things really difficult for you. He fades away nice, Mike Buchanan, plus he's relaxed. He, if you look at Mike Buchanan's body, He's not all tightened up and all tensed up. He's rolling with the punches. So a lot of these punches aren't doing a lot of damage to Mike Buchanan. But if Francia keeps chipping away with the jab, upstairs, downstairs, left hook to the body, down there to the body, that's exactly what he's going to do, what he's doing at the end there. Chip away at the, at the different punches and try and get Buchanan to lower his hands so he get that right hand left hook in. Good fight so far for Francia. He's, ta he's taking what, what Buchanan's given him. And Buchanan is fighting a good defensive fight. He's doing what he's got to do to survive. I guess the bottom line for uh, Steve Frantic is, uh, you know, no matter what, you want to win each round. It's only a, a six-rounder. So you want to go in, you want to win every round. Uh, if you get the knockout, you get the knockout. And I know he's trying to impress tonight. Let's take a look at some of the action from that second round, Ken. You see, while he's doing all this stuff, it's all nice. But you got to remember, you got to be technically smart when you're doing this. The hand's got to be up because... Buchanan's got some pretty good punching power. So Buchanan's got to work for later fights, too, to learn how to get in there. Bing, 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 hands up, wiggle, get underneath. Bing, 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 throw them punches loosely, upstairs, downstairs, pick your punches. That's where he's going to learn tonight in this fight, Francis, because it looks like Buchanan is here for the duration. Fuck. Round number three between Steve Frantic out of Toronto, Ontario, taking on Mike the Machine Buchanan out of Vancouver, B.C., and so far, it has been a good fight between these two boxers. Steve Frantic, obviously a, a boxer with uh, tremendous skill, and uh, you got to give Mike Buchanan a lot of credit. He's gone two rounds. Not too many boxers have gone more than two rounds with Steve Frantic. Well, exactly. If Frantic starts unloading on that jab, not trying to kill with it, but pick him apart with the jab, he's going to start to reap the benefits. Right now, he's exchanging... Uh, Franchik is exchanging with him, saying, hey, I just feel that I can beat you boxing or I can beat you slugging. He's not really giving Buchanan a lot of respect. And that's what he should start doing. He should start giving him respect so he can learn when he gets in with a higher skilled opponent how to fight inside and how to fight on the outside. Franchik doing a, a good workmanlike job in the corner, keeping Buchanan in the corner, hitting him with shots every single time. Buchanan is exhorting them. 
And he tries to fight himself out of the corner, does a good job. I'm really impressed with Buchanan's relaxing. He gets in those ropes and you think he's uh, just relaxing there in the, in the sun. He's just chilling out there on the beach, he's so relaxed. And that's really helping him because he's rolling with punches with, with, with lots of power on every one of them that Francis is throwing. And, and, and Buchanan is relaxing and just letting him roll back and then get to the safe spot. Roll away from it, get to the safe spot. And, and that's keeping him in this fight. See there? Just rolls away. And that, that's really helping Buchanan a lot. Franchick's got to get back to the middle of the ring, box him and pull this guy off balance and whack him with some good right hands and come back with left hook. This is where his coaches have to take him to the next level. He can't be aggressive like, like he is right now with guys that really know how to counter punch and punch. Well, that's what Buchanan did right there. A great counter punch to back uh, Franchick off. Yeah. Franchick's corner could actually save him. Hey, look, let's, let's start to box a little bit. That was a huge left hook that knocked the mouthpiece out of Buchanan's <laughs> mouth, but Buchanan is okay. Referee Don Smart's going to stop the action for a moment while they get that mouthpiece back in, but that was a heavy left hook that caught Buchanan. He was kind of just off just for a second, and uh, definitely Steve Franjic saw the opening, and he connected. I really like uh, uh, the way Franjic come back with that left hook there. It's beautiful, beautiful punch. Really good balance, too. Fuck. But like I said earlier, uh, Buchanan's here to fight. He's not here to fall down. He's put up a good show so far against a very talented uh, fighter from Toronto. Buchanan obviously in a position too, Ken, where he's got to keep up what he was doing in the first two rounds, uh, throwing lots of punches and making sure he gets Steve Franchick off of uh, his game plan. Right there. He's got to be fighting back right there. After Franchick quits punching, you've got to start punching. But he, you know, give him credit. There's a nice right hand. Give him credit. He's in against a guy with a lot more uh, guns than he's got, but he's really weathering the storm with really good uh, experience that guys usually take 15, 20 pro fights to be able to do. All these punches he's evading just by being loose and relaxing and rolling with the punch. There you go. He's moving his way. He's just, you can do a real, real good job. into round number four and let's take a look at Kenny Lacusa's scorecard so far. Well so far I got Franchick in the shutout. He's, he's won every round. He's pushing the, the fight all the way and he just got to be careful that he doesn't get hit with a real clean shot because uh, Buchanan like I said is here to, to stay for the duration and he's a relaxed fighter and he, and he can punch a little bit. But Franchick is just totally a little bit too dominant, a little bit too good in his feet and a little bit too uh, too much of everything for uh, Buchanan. Mike Buchanan did do some damage to Steve Franjic. They were applying the ice pack to uh, the uh, right side of uh, Steve Franjic's head uh, during the, uh, in between the rounds. So there's no question that Mike Buchanan has done some damage. Now, whether those are from jabs like we're seeing right now from Buchanan or whether it might have been a clash of heads, nobody knows. But one thing is for certain, I think uh, for Steve Franjic, he's seeing a little bit more out of Mike Buchanan than what he's seen out of most opponents so far in his professional career. Well, I, I think we could see that from the onset. We've seen that Buchanan is a relaxed fighter. He's not a, he doesn't especially look like the type that gets intimidated. Really good shape, like you uh, mentioned before, James. And uh, he's hanging in there, and he's making a lot, of, making Franchick miss a lot, which is going to make Franchick go back to the drawing board and say, hey, what am I being such a stalker for? I got I to box more. I got to stand in and let these guys come to me and use my jab, fight more like Larry Holmes and Sugar Ray Leonard, as opposed to try and be a, a, a pressure man like he's doing in these uh, first four rounds. Buchanan has come up with a little bit more fire this round. He's throwing a few more punches, which uh, I'm sure his corner is happy to see, Ken, because he, he did kind of take last round off, and I think he's getting a little bit more confidence here that uh, he may be able to take this fight the distance. Well, I think he, he, he's felt that way, like I said, from the onset. He, he looks like a real relaxed fighter in there. He knows how to keep his hands up, and like you said, James, he's in great shape. He's a, a, a Hercules-like body. He's built like Mike Weaver. The ex uh, heavyweight champion in the world, and uh, he's just got a great build on him, and he relaxes. He's not a tight guy, so he's got all these muscles, but he's not tight. He's loose, and that's what's helping him make the distance in this fight. Do you think Steve Franjic is feeling a little bit of pressure because he's just new to the KO stable to get that knockout? No, I think that Franjic is a little bit happy. They finally got someone in front of him that's not falling down every time he gets hit, 
and he's going to he's going to learn how to how to pace himself and learn how to jab a little bit more instead of trying to take the guy out every time learn to jab a little bit more and uh, use his boxing ability because that's what that's what got him on the national team and it's hard to get on that national team very nice left uppercut by mike buchanan with seconds remaining here in the fourth round and it's been a very good round for mike buchanan he's uh, showed us that he has not uh, got any quit in him at all no he doesn't he fought uh, he, so far he's fought a real real good fight he hasn't uh, he hasn't missed a beat so far See, what, what, what Buchanan has to do here, James, is Buchanan now has to start to unleash some of these punches. When Franchuk wants to put pressure on him, like he's been doing, and good educated pressure, Buchanan now has to start coming with them uppercuts, right hands, back with the double left hook or just the left hook, but he's got to come back with some punches. And if he does, he might just wobble Franchuk a little bit. He'll, he'll test his chin if he does that, but if he just lays back and is content to make Franchuk miss, then every round is just going to go to Franchuk like it has the first four. Well, this is going to be a big round right here for that man, Mike Buchanan, because uh, he definitely has to feel good about himself after round number four as we head into the fifth round. Glad that you could join us here on Sportsnet. I'm James Monsees, along with former two-time Canadian heavyweight champ Ken Lacusta and uh, Steve Franchuk out of Toronto as uh, a guy who has been so impressive in this light heavyweight division, vaulted to number five in Canada, and uh, now he's facing a young man, uh, well, not a young man, a 44-year-old man out of uh, Vancouver who has uh, really come in in tremendous shape and has done a great job at holding off uh, the young upstart uh, out of Eastern Canada. See, what, what Buchanan's got to start to do is throw three, four, five punches, not just two, because he's behind in this fight. He's got to know he's behind this fight. And he's got to start throwing more punches. Although, uh, you've got to give him a lot of credit to get to the point he has because Franchuk is a, is, a, is a fighter with either hand. He hits with either hand hard. And he boxes well, but he's not, you're not even using his jab as much as he should. And he's doing a, a real workmanlike job in this fifth round. Well, like you say, Franchuk is winning every round. Uh, Mike Buchanan now gaining a little bit more confidence. He's throwing more punches. And uh, you can see Franchuk right there protecting the uh, left upper side of his head. Uh, just the way that the two boxes seem to be coming together quite a bit. They might be clashing heads. Franchuk doing a good job right there of hitting the body and going up top. But doesn't seem to really phase Mike Buchanan at all. Well, it doesn't phase him. Mike Buchanan is a strong, strong guy. Handle the power that the Franchuk's thrown at him. Franchuk should now start to box a little bit more. You can see he's not going to take this guy out. And uh, might as well box. Learn how to box. The game's called boxing. They learn to box good, too. There, he finally if you can to come back with the left hook. And, and he got some benefit from it. Now he's got to punch. After Franchuk has done his punching, Buchanan's got to start punching. This is, what, this is what you've got to do now. There's no sense in laying back no more. We're in the fifth round ready. Good luck, uh uppercut right there again that caught Mike Buchanan. But Buchanan has been hit with some pretty good bombs from Franchuk tonight and uh, he hasn't been rocked at all. His eyes have been very square on his opponent and even right there he ended up taking a right hand right to the chin. Seeing this hard work that Franchuk's doing for the first four rounds is starting, starting to take its toll now on Buchanan. You're starting to see the Buchanan is kind of uh, losing his power because he's getting hit to the body. And, and he moves so well. Uh, Buchanan really relaxes and moves so well that Franchuk is having a tough time catching him with a good one. Well, he tried with a, a straight right to the body, it would have been a nice punch, but he seems to be missing a lot of punches, but he's very, very aggressive. Oh, that's a, that's a no-no right there for Mike Buchanan backing in. Uh, totally the wrong way, so referee Don Smart makes quick work of that. This is the sixth and final round for these light heavyweights. And if you were to ask me at the start of uh, this fight, uh, if we were going to go the distance, Kenny, I don't think we would. Uh, let's take a look at your scorecard. Uh, you've got it all one way. Well, I got it all one way. But we said at the very start of this fight, it just looked like Buchanan was stubborn. 
and he certainly is not only is he stubborn but he's got a natural defensive way about him and he needed it tonight because this guy throws power in each punch and he's put pressure on him throughout the first five rounds but Buchanan has really handled that heat well and you got to tip your hat to him he is one tough customer he's taken uh, a lot of shots from Steve Frangic where uh, his previous five opponents have not been able to do so and just very good work by Mike Buchanan he's been workmanlike in there and like you say he, he maybe lacks uh, some of that skill set like you say uh, that that could take him to the next level but he comes in in incredible shape he's got a, a rock for a chin uh, this guy, uh, we could hear more out of Mike Buchanan in the near future. Well, Mike Buchanan, after this fight, there's other people in Canada now are going to look at him and say, hey, he went the distance with Franchuk. He fights hard. Uh, I like to have this guy in my show, and, and just maybe when he gets back, he's got a good trainer, Tony Pep. Tony can work on some skills for him. He's certainly tough enough, in good enough shape, relaxed enough, just has to up his skill level now. And I've seen it many fighters turn their career uh, right around. And they can do it in a hurry. It's all just maintaining some skill. As far as Steve Frangic is concerned, uh, is he going to be disappointed? Do you think he didn't get the knockout? Well, I don't think he's going to be disappointed. I think he's going to look at this guy and say, hey, I hit him with some real solid shots. I hit him so hard, I knocked his mouthpiece right out. And, and still, with no mouthpiece, Buchanan was fighting back. So it's not like he's in there with someone to come here to fall down. He come with a guy who was ready to fight in great shape, like you said, James, in the first round. And, and there's, there's a right hand. Franchuk, that's what you got to watch out when you're the aggressor like that. You can't walk into punches like that. you got to check, check, check your fighter out before you walk in. Well, you can see, see that Steve Franchuk is very upset with that, and he comes back and starts throwing some nice, nice, strong left hands into the face of Mike Buchanan. And Mike Buchanan has been the same relaxed guy he's been throughout the first uh, first six rounds. Now he's getting some confidence. He's come back with that counter right hand. Should come back with a left hook. And now he, you see, he should be punching when he's in there. If he's punching when he's in there, he's give up many times. He could have just been punching. Right there. Punch right back. But he is getting outgunned, so the guy's just out, out, out handling him inside. Good hard work by both boxers here in this light heavyweight battle, and you really got to give it out to, to both of them. They've done a tremendous job. Steve Frantic out of uh, Toronto going the distance, and uh, that's something that Mike Buchanan can be proud of because not too many people have been able to do so. Well, can, I think that the Buchanan fought a good fight. I know Buchanan's trainer, Tony Pep, wouldn't bring just any uh, ham and egg or here. He brought someone that was uh, ready to try and upset Franchick, and Buchanan fought a real good fight. And, and same for Franchick, fought a really good fight. I think he can box better than that. I think he should stay in the middle of the ring more as opposed to as aggressive as he was because he, at times he was plodding and stuff, and he, he doesn't have to do that. He's a nice stand-up boxer but six foot three and doesn't need to walk into punches. There you can see the corner. They, they pretty much know that they won the fight, uh, Ken, uh, but uh, Mike Buchanan, on the other hand, has to be very proud of uh, all of the hard work that he did, all of the hard training that he did uh, coming into this fight uh, here in Edmonton. Uh, you know what? You're taking on a guy who is uh, basically uh, one of Canada's top boxers. He was one of the top boxers in our country, uh, you know, uh, and uh, it was just uh, one of those things where he... Uh, uh, lost his spot on Canada's national team back in 210 and uh, you know he decided to turn pro so he's, he's working hard at trying to make a name for himself as a professional and he, he definitely has a lot of talent. Amateur record too if anybody's keeping track 110 uh, to 30. So 110 wins, 30 losses, uh, en route to winning a couple of Canadian championships. Also was a gold medalist at the 2009 Ringside World Championships back in Kansas City. Uh, there's no question uh, that this guy has a lot of talent. And, uh, and you know, we're going to see more of uh, Steve Frannick. There's no question about it. And uh, I think we're going to see more of that man right there, Mike Buchanan, as he takes his gloves off. Let's go into the ring and uh, see what Dean Panis has for us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing action, we go to our judges for decision. Judges Mark Goodell, David Bilosikorik, and David Haas all score this bout 60 to 54 for your winner by unanimous decision, Silent Steve Franchek. Here we 
with here with Silent Steve Pranik. Just tell me first of all, you prior to this fight only had 11 professional rounds of boxing. You have five straight victories. You fought a guy tonight who basically said he was not going to go down. Did you expect that? Uh, well, I didn't know really what to expect, but uh, after the first round, I knew we were in for like a, a full fight, pretty much. You knocked his mouthpiece out. I think it was in uh, the second or third round, and it, it seemed as if you kind of rocked him a bit, but uh, he came back. He was very aggressive. He wanted to make sure he sent a message. Uh, did that make you feel as if uh, you maybe had to change a bit of your game plan? Because I know you've taken out just about everybody you fought really early. Yeah, I think I caught him with a decent shot there, and uh, his mouth guard power, but that's nothing new. Uh, yeah, and he definitely came to fight. Uh, he didn't give up, and he's looking for sneaky punches. He's a really crafty fighter, and uh, I give him a lot of credit for that. How would you rate the fight for you? I, I know you're looking at more tougher opponents. Uh, you got one tonight. How would you rate things? Yeah. Uh, I think I did pretty good. I made a couple of mistakes, uh, not moving my head too much on the inside and things, but, uh, you know, I'm still learning, and uh, next time... I'll uh, fix those mistakes. Well, that's what Kenny Lacusta was saying at ringside. He said, uh, make sure you tell Steve, as far as he saw, you, you need to concentrate more on that Sugar Ray Leonard style because you're going to get more knockouts just uh, just due to your power. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's definitely something I need to work on. And uh, my coach, Brian Mackey, and all my team, uh, we're going to do our best to do that. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. I uh, hope you enjoy the night. Thanks. Steve Frannick moving to 6-0 and as a professional, a new piece of the KO Boxing Stable. You're going to see more of him to come, folks, right across Canada. One of Canada's best amateur fighters, now a professional. Don't go away. More professional boxing on Sportsnet right around the corner.